If you're of that, if you have a temperament that when others are fearful, you're going to get scared yourself. You know, you are not going to make a lot of money in securities over time in all probability. In today's fast paced world, financial stability is crucial and it's never too early or too late to start thinking about building your wealth. Many people think that the only way to improve their finances is by finding a higher paying job or getting a second job, but that's not always the case. With the right strategies and a right mindset, you can achieve your financial goals without leaving your current job. Whether you're saving for a house, planning for retirement, or just want to improve your financial health, this video will provide you with five practical and valuable steps to grow your finances without having to leave your current job. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. Step number one, learn skills that can earn you more income. Learning skills that can earn you more income is an important part of growing your money. By developing skills that are in demand in the job market, you can increase your earning potential and create new opportunities for career growth. Here are some ways to learn skills that can earn you a good income. Firstly, identify skills in demand. To start, you'll need to identify the skills that are in demand in your industry or field. This could mean researching job postings and salary data to see what skills are commonly required or valued by your employer. Some examples of skills in demand may include data analysis, digital marketing, software development, project management, and accounting. Secondly, take courses or training programs. Once you've identified the skills you want to learn, look for courses or training programs that can help you develop those skills. This could include online courses, community college classes, or industry-specific certification programs. Some courses may be free, while others may have a cost associated with them. Investment in your education can pay off in the long run by increasing your earning potential. If you're a teenager, build high income skills. A high income skill could be content creation, it could be sales, it could be copywriting. I don't care if the year is 2023, I don't care if the year is 2040. These will always be important skills and these will always be highly paid skills. Thirdly, seek out mentorship. In addition to formal training programs, seeking out mentorship or apprenticeships can be a valuable way to learn new skills. Look for opportunities to work with experienced professionals in your industry or field, or seek out mentorship programs that offer on-the-job training and guidance. Fourth, practice and build experience. Learning new skills is only the first step. It is also important to practice and build experience using those skills. Look for opportunities to apply your new skills in your current job or seek out freelance or contract work to build your portfolio and gain experience. Fifth, stay up to date with industry trends. It is important to stay up to date with industry trends and changes to ensure your skills remain relevant and valuable. Attend industry conferences, read industry publications, and stay connected with other professionals in your field to stay informed and adapt to changing industry demands. Learning skills that can earn you more income requires a commitment to ongoing education and professional development. By identifying skills in demand, taking courses or training programs, seeking mentorship, building experience, and staying up to date with industry trends, you can increase your earning potential and create new opportunities for career growth. It's not a complicated process, but it, it, it definitely requires uh, discipline. It, requ it requ requires insulating yourself from popular opinion. You just, you simply cannot, you can't pay any attention to it. It just doesn't mean anything. Step number two, work in a field that you are passionate about. Invest in your education specific to your field. Investing in your education can help you grow your career and increase your earning potential. Taking courses, attending conferences or workshops, pursuing a certification or degree can help you advance in your field. Develop new skills. Developing new skills can make you more valuable to your employer, increase your earning potential, and open up new career opportunities. Take on new projects, learn new technologies or software, and seek out mentorship or training opportunities. Network. 
Networking is important in any field. Attend industry events, join professional organizations, and connect with colleagues and mentors in your field. These connections can lead to big opportunities in your field, collaborations, and valuable advice and insights. Save and invest. Even if you enjoy your job, you will not do it forever. It is important to save and invest for your future. Consider setting up automatic savings and investment contributions and aim to save a portion of your income each month. You can also consider investing in a retirement account or other long-term investment options. Start a side hustle. If you have a passion or a skill outside of your day job, consider starting a side hustle. This can provide additional income, help you develop new skills, and potentially turn into a full-time business. Remember, growing your money while working in a field you enjoy is not just about making more money, but also about building a fulfilling and sustainable career. Focus on developing your skills, building relationships, and saving and investing for your future. Before we proceed, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In this community, we aim at helping people around the world achieve financial success and freedom. Thank you for your support. Let's continue. But the advice, the advice I would, I would give, give is, is to read, read everything, everything in sight, you know, yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and to and start very young. It's, it's, it's a huge, huge advantage, advantage uh, in almost any field, field uh, uh, to start, start young, young. And, and uh, uh, if, if that's, that's where your where interest, interest lies. lies. Step number three, don't look for a job, look for a career and a mission. Growing your money is not just about finding a job that pays well, but also finding a career and a mission that aligns with your values and allows you to grow professionally and personally. Here are some aspects to consider. Identify your values and passions. Think about what you are passionate about and what values are important to you. This will help you identify career paths that align with your personal goals. Research career options. Once you have identified your values and passions, research different career options that align with them. Look for industries, organizations, and job roles that align with your interests and values. Set career goals. Once you have identified a career path, set goals for yourself that align with your long-term career aspirations. First, you have to evaluate your career goals. Consider the type of career you want to pursue and whether it requires a college degree. Then you're going to research the job market in that field that you're interested in to see if a degree is actually necessary to achieve your goals. This may include pursuing advanced degrees or certifications, seeking out new experiences or training opportunities, or taking on leadership roles. Look for a mission-driven organization. Find organizations that have a clear mission and values that align with yours. These organizations are often more likely to invest in their employees and provide opportunities for growth and development. Seek out mentorship. Find mentors who are experienced in your field and can provide guidance and support as you navigate your career. Mentors can help you develop new skills, expand your network, and provide valuable insights and advice. Remember that growing your money is not just about earning a high salary, but also about building a fulfilling and sustainable career. By identifying your values and passions, researching career options, setting goals, and seeking out mentorship and mission-driven organizations, you can grow your money while also building a career that aligns with your personal goals and values. Step number four, only keep relationships that add value to your life. Being in relationships that create value in your life can help you grow your money and achieve your financial goals. These relationships can provide you with emotional support, help you stay motivated, and introduce you to new opportunities that can boost your income and earnings potential. Here are some examples of relationships that can create value in your life. Mentors and coaches. Finding a mentor or a coach who has experience in your field can be incredibly valuable. They can provide you with guidance, advice, and feedback that can help you develop your skills and advance your career. Additionally, they can introduce you to new opportunities and help you build valuable connections in your industry. 
Networking contacts. Building a strong network of contacts can also be valuable. These contacts can help you find new job opportunities, introduce you to potential clients or customers, and provide you with valuable feedback on your work. Networking events, industry conferences, and social media can all be great places to start building your network. Support of friends and family. Having support of friends and family members is valuable. They can provide you with emotional support, help you stay motivated, and give you the confidence to pursue your goals. Additionally, they may be able to introduce you to new opportunities or provide you with financial assistance when needed. Business Partners If you're an entrepreneur or business owner, finding the right business partners can be very crucial. Partners who share your vision and work ethic can help you grow your business, bring new ideas to the table, and provide you with the financial support you need to take your business to the next level. I'll tell you Warren Buffett's secret to finding good managers and partners in the business he owns. Number one is you need to look for somebody who's got high energy. Number two is you need to find somebody who has integrity. Third, they should be sharp as a tack. Number four, they should have an owner's mindset. Financial advisors. Working with a financial advisor can be very valuable. A good financial advisor can help you develop a long-term financial plan, manage your investments, and provide you with guidance on how to achieve your financial goals. Overall, being in relationships that create value in your life can help you grow your money and achieve your financial goals. By surrounding yourself with supportive, knowledgeable, and motivated people, you can build a strong foundation for long-term financial growth and success. Step number five, avoid making financial mistakes that can ruin you. This is a very important part of growing your money as an employee. Financial mistakes can be very dangerous and painful, although they teach you valuable lessons and help you make better decisions in future. It is much better to avoid them as much as possible to help protect your financial future. Here are some examples of the financial mistakes to avoid. Overspending on non-essential items. Spending too much money on non-essential items is a financial mistake that can add up over time. By focusing on needs instead of wants, you can prioritize your spending and save more money. Failing to create a budget. Failure to create a budget is a financial mistake that can lead to overspending and financial stress. By creating a budget and sticking to it, you can better manage your money and avoid overspending. Not saving money. Failure to save money can be a financial mistake that can leave you unprepared for emergencies or unexpected expenses. By prioritizing saving and setting aside money each month, you can build an emergency fund and work towards your long-term financial goals. Taking on too much debt. Too much debt can be a financial mistake that can ruin you. High levels of debt can lead to financial stress, missed payments, and a damaged credit score. Avoid taking on too much debt by living within your means, prioritizing saving, and only taking out loans that you can afford to repay. Investing in high-risk investments without doing proper research. Before investing in any high-risk investment, do your research and understand the risks involved. Consider working with a financial advisor or an investment professional to help you make informed decisions. Ignoring your credit score. Ignoring your credit score can be a financial mistake that can make it difficult for you to qualify for loans or credit cards in the future. Monitor your credit score regularly and take steps to improve it if necessary. This may include paying down your debt, making on-time payments, and disputing any errors on your credit report. By avoiding these financial mistakes, you can build a strong financial foundation and work towards your long-term financial goals. I hope you found the tips and insights shared in this video helpful in achieving your financial goals. Remember that growing your money is not just about making more money, but also about building a fulfilling and sustainable career. By investing in your education, developing new skills, networking, saving and investing for your future, and finding a career and a mission that aligns with your values and interests, you can achieve financial stability and success. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel to show your support.
we share valuable content on personal finance and investing, helping people like you achieve financial freedom and live fulfilled lives. Turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. See you in the next one.